Hi guys, before we get into this video, I just wanted to say if you are dealing with anxiety and or depression, definitely reach out to a doctor or a close friend or someone to talk to. Um, this video is really just sharing my routine that I have found works the best with my anxiety and managing it to where I'm feeling my best and kind of the most in control. So I'm just sharing with you guys what I've been doing, but definitely if you need help, go get some. Okay, so my routine actually starts the night before. If you guys want a full night routine, comment down below and let me know. But I have to make sure my space is clean for me to wake up in. I really like having my outfits laid out the night before. It's mainly just when I'm working out in, in the morning. This is something I've been using for my anxiety. It's a great supplement. There's this anti-anxiety notebook. I'll have it linked down below. Um, but yeah, I just kind of create an environment that makes me wind down. I use a diffuser and I also use a humidifier. It's really helpful and then something that has changed my life is reading before bed this is something i do without fail every single night by doing this i've actually ended up not being on my phone for the last few hours of every day and it is the best thing ever once i set my alarm it's off and i'm just reading for the rest of the night so the next morning i wake up i wake up anywhere between like 6 30 to 7 30 it depends on the day um i have found not having something that's like crazy for my morning routine has really helped my anxiety i just do things that really refuel me recharge me and just make me feel like i'm the best me this is very cheesy but this is what has worked the best for me so i always make my bed in the morning and then i just go brush my teeth i put a little bit of skincare on i throw in some stuff to work out in and i go on a walk for things good morning guys so i am off to take the dogs on a walk if you guys are new here subscribe i love the morning walks because it's nice outside i listen to a podcast i drink a bunch of water it's just really great but i still need to get shoes so i'll be back the set that i'm wearing is girlfriend it's really comfortable and it's super cute Upstairs to fill up my water bottle. I need to grab my phone for the podcast and then I'm heading out. Okay, so I head downstairs and I pour some liquid IV in my water. This is so big for me. I am making my water with liquid IV. This is something I've been doing a ton. You guys have seen it in vlogs if you watch them. This is the energy multiplier. I don't even drink coffee anymore, but this stuff tastes so good and it makes me drink so much water, which makes me feel so good. I've actually been able to completely get off coffee by drinking their energy stuff. I'll have it linked down below. I have a 25% off discount, but it has changed my life. So I wake up fits, I wake up the pops, Coco's normally already up and I take them on walks. Coco clearly has a cone on her head right now, so she's not really going on walks, but um, I love this time in the morning. I'll either listen to a podcast or some music, whatever I'm feeling, and I just really enjoy it. All right, guys, made it to work out. It really depends on the day. Sometimes I do mostly with health. Sometimes I'll do just a Pilates. Lately, I've really been doing a 10 to 12, 3.30, which is a Stremo routine I found from Lauren Geraldo. I pull my hair out because you sweat so much and it's just so gross. I also normally watch a good YouTube video and I'll finish listening to a podcast or something like that. So 12, 3.30 is an incline of 12, speed of three for 30 minutes. But I just put my phone up here, I watch a YouTube video, and that's that. It's like, look at how much you sweat. Like, it is just like crazy. So after this workout, I am dead. I fill up my water bottle again. Drinking a lot of water has really, really helped me, guys. People are not lying about that. Then I grab an outfit. I actually have outfits just kind of ready to go in my closet already because I don't know. I'm just really, really like that, okay? I take a shower and then I get ready for the day. So this really depends. Most of the time I don't really wear a ton of makeup, but this day I felt like putting a little bit on. So I put on my oils, I threw my hair back, I put on some jewelry, and then I mainly just did powder products as you guys will see. If you're interested in what I put on my face or anything like that, I have an entire Chit Jacket Ready With Me video that's coming up soon, as well as IGTV videos where I share that.
Alright guys, I am ready for the day. I just threw on an outfit. These shorts are from Revolve. They are my favorite denim shorts ever. These are a bit pricier. I'll show you better out there, but I will link a dupe as well. They're amazing. I have some this long sleeve top on, some jewelry. For makeup, as you guys saw, I just did sunscreen and then like bronzer and blush and mascara, like the basics. My jewelry is from Tala Rose LA. I love her stuff. All right, so at this time, I will grab my bag and I'm gonna head downstairs. This is the bag I've been using a ton lately. I got it from a designer consignment store in Dallas. Let's head downstairs, I grab my books and stuff. I go downstairs and make breakfast. Sometimes hot lemon water or whatever I'm drinking that morning and then I do some reading. This is really important for me. Okay, so I go and grab my books. I pretty much have just a pile of books that I bring with me all around the house. Um, you guys will see, I set the mood of my apartment. This is so big. So I clean, I already cleaned the night before, but with dogs, I feel like I'm just constantly cleaning. Um, I feed them breakfast. I always have candles burning because it just puts me in a really good mood. And yeah, I just kind of clean up just to have an even better kind of mindset in the morning. I feel like if my house is clean, I can think better. And then I make my favorite avocado toast. This is what I make with it. I've shown it in vlogs so many times but it is so good I have my breakfast that is so good at this time in the morning is typically when I read I used to do this like the first thing I woke up blah 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 whatever but this is the routine that like works the best for me so I have my Kindle at a Kindle Oasis I'm currently reading change your brain change your life and then I just have my Bible and my journal so it depends I do my daily devo and then I'll typically read something where I feel like I'm learning if I'm constantly learning and growing I just feel better I will link this down below it's really really helpful I'm honestly reading through quite a few nonfiction books right now. So I'm gonna do that, go through my little Bible reading, this, and then I will start my day. I'm also starting to take supplements. I'm not gonna share much on these because I haven't actually tried them yet. So I will keep you guys posted on if I like them, but that is like my next alternative as to what I'm doing. So after I'm done reading, I just clean up and I grab my bag and I'm out the door. I either am out the door to whatever I'm doing that day or I go up to my office to get some work done. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, let me know in the comments down below if you made it this far, comment down below eight. If you want any more like mental health related videos or anything like that, definitely um, leave them as a request in the comments down below. I also have some podcasts with like therapists and psychiatrists and stuff on the topic. So if you guys want to go check that out, just the I Love You So Much podcast. But I love you guys so much and I will talk to you soon.